Brad Hunter from Lit Frames contacted me and asked me if I would do an unboxing and review on his product. I gladly accepted. Let's see what we got here. Upon opening the box you will find a number of things. In this one you will find the battery for your remote control as well as a lip frame sticker. This is your power adapter. This is your wireless remote that you will be able to use to change the colors. It comes with a case that you can mount on the wall, like so. It also includes two metal rods that can be utilized to have this stand up on its own if you do not want it to hang on the wall. Alright, let's get all this stuff out of the way so I can show you how sexy this thing really is. Artwork is by Brian Allen, a very talented artist. I, I really hope to see his work on a machine someday. I really do. So all you manufacturers out there, take note and get Brian Allen on your team. So upon unwrapping this, I do have to give credit to the quality of materials. I am very impressed. This is one of those things where you see it in video form or in pictures and it doesn't do it justice. And that is the same for here. I was like very impressed on how sturdy and rock solid the material was. Very nice glossy finish to every side of this. The back side, the front, everything is beautiful. Here is the power port on the side. Alright, let's get these things up on the rods, that way you can see what it looks like when it stands up. They screw in just like so. You can also utilize this to be in portrait or landscape mode. It comes with attachments and screw holes on the side for whatever orientation you see fit. Let's see what it looks like all lit up. usage of the remote. Let's remove the battery protector and we'll just... Uh, damn thing doesn't work! Check the battery. Wait a minute. If there's no battery in here, then what the heck was the point of this thing right here? Makes no sense. <sighs> Whatever. Anyways, here's the battery. You open the battery. Guess what? You put it inside your remote. And then the remote will work. How about that? You have your power button. Then you're able to easily just slightly touch the color meter and it changes the colors accordingly. Change it to whatever color you see fit. The W button at the very top middle adds white light to whatever color that you have chosen. The left and right arrows choose the brightness to how bright or dim you want it to be. The top left hand button randomizes, shuffles things around, spruces things up a bit. Let's get this thing up on the wall. It comes with wall mounting materials, but I'm going to be doing something a little bit different here. 
This is how I go about installing frames on my wall. You can do it however you see fit. Once you have it on the wall, just plug it in and it's good to go. This is by far my favorite color scheme right here. It's got just a little bit of yellow to give it a little bit of that old school incandescent look mixed with the brand new cool white. Really brings out all the colors. Now I know what some of you are thinking. Well, what if I don't want Brian Allen's artwork in there? What if I don't want this beautiful masterpiece mashup? Well, if you are that such person, then you can easily remove the translight like so. Magnetic strips to hold it in place. You can take out the old and put in a different one. It's just that easy. The lit frame that I have here is the 16 by 20. This is actually his newest item on his website. It's available for $239.99. Now, that price tag is definitely gonna hit some of you a little bit, whoa, what the heck? But what I can back that up with is that the build quality is what justifies that price. If it was something flimsy and just felt cheap, guys, I would definitely let you know that this is not worth the cash. But due to the fact that you're getting some really beautiful artwork with it as well as the build quality to back it up, then I highly recommend this for those of you that really want to show off any kind of artwork piece that you can fit in there or the art piece that comes with it. For the short amount of time that this has been on my wall in my house, it has definitely caught the eyes of everyone that passes by to go, whoa, when did you get this? And stop and gander at it. The last time I checked the website, he only had three of these translites remaining in stock. The website does specify they can be back ordered, but if you want it sooner than later, then by all means, you better rush and get it right now. If you want to show off your Stern's Iron Maiden or Deadpool or something like that, then there's frames for that on the website too. My only negative nitpicking on this device is the fact that the power cord, at least in the landscape mode that I have it in, hangs off to the side and I would much rather it be on the bottom. That's kind of like an OCD thing for me. I don't know if it's going to be an inconvenience for any of you out there, but that's like really my only nitpick about this whole thing. And that's kind of negligible in the way because the way it looks really outshines that. And it being off to the side like that isn't gonna be a factor for those of you that actually want this sitting on a table or a shelf somewhere because the cable hides behind the device very easily. By purchasing this product, you're not only supporting lit frames, you're also supporting a great artist, Brian Allen. And I'm actually supporting him even further by this shirt. This was designed by him. It's available at silverswag.com. I'll also put a link in the description down below for that. To get this device, as well as any others that he has, by all means, check out litframes.com. I will put a link in the description down below for that. If you like what you've seen here, give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can be notified of whenever I upload something for your viewing pleasure. Until next time, guys. Peace out.